This is a three color fluid up pour. This is a seven color rainbow fluid pour. And today I'm going to do a hundred color fluid art pour onto a giant canvas. Hey guys, it's Wenji and Fluid Art Hugs. Today, we're gonna be doing some Fluid Art. Seeing this around the internet, I am obsessed. I've seen like three colors, four colors. I've even seen like a 24 color, like goes out. Really satisfying to watch. But what I haven't seen is a 100 color Fluid Art pour. I definitely had to try it. But first, shopping. Let's go. Okay guys, we have a problem. I need a hundred colors, but I can only see 35. I'm gonna grab what I can and we'll figure it out later. thing about liquid art is finding the right recipe. I tested a bunch of recipes I found online and this is what worked best for me. You'll need some acrylic paint, some paint pouring medium, small mixing cups, and some craft sticks. Use a digital scale to measure out 10 grams of acrylic paint and then add 20 grams of pouring medium. I found various recipes that use water but the mixture became way too thin for me. But it might also depend on the brand of paints you use. Anyways, mix your paint and pouring medium well. I decided to test first with three colors. I realized I needed more paint to cover my canvas, so I made some more. The next step can change depending on which technique you want to use. But I used a cup pouring technique where I poured each color into a larger cup, creating these rings of color as I went along. You'll notice here that the paint started clumping together if I left it out for a bit as the top layer dried up, so keep that in mind. This definitely takes some practice getting used to the pouring technique, as you can see. I think my rings definitely looked better towards the end. Now that your pouring cup is full, just pour it over your canvas however you like. There's no real rule to this. Alright guys, I'm pouring. I'm so scared. Oh! Oh my god! Richard, oh, it's falling off the side. Is that all? Okay. Whoa! I feel like I'm making like an oopo. This looks so cool, it looks like a crystal. Oh yeah. Guys, this looks amazing. This turned out better than I thought it was. It literally looks like neon galaxy crystal river. Doesn't this remind you of a super cute quartz crystal that you just cut in half and it's like that middle crystal portion? This is like paint version of a mirror cake. I am obsessed with mirror cake. Obviously wear gloves. It's so glossy too. Can't believe this is only three colors. I wonder what it would look like with a hundred colors. That worked out really well, especially for my first fluid art pour. I wasn't expecting it to go that smoothly. Get it? So we know that the hundred layer pour is gonna work. 
technically. If you guys notice, towards the edge of my fluid art, it started mixing together a lot and getting really brown. So before we do the 100 layer fluid art pour, I wanted to try different patterns, different color orders. I want to make sure it's gonna look the best. So let's experiment. Okay, so let's mix some more colors. So the first test is going to be a rainbow with a layer of white in between each color. Again, my colors started clumping and that made it tricky to pour the paint evenly. Next, I wanted to try making a rainbow with black layers in between each color. Again, the paint got gloppy. And yes, things got a little bit messy, but it's okay guys. This is why we practice before the real thing, you know? Then I decided to just make a straight seven color rainbow with no layers in between. This time, I mixed the colors really quick so they didn't dry out and that helped a lot. As you can see, my pouring got so much better here. I am so proud of myself right now. And finally, we're gonna put opposing colors next to each other. I think we got the technique super good now, so you can call me the paint pouring queen. Alright guys, I am done pouring all the different combinations into my cup. Become a pouring expert on the sweet spot. My patterns at the end were so much better than my patterns in the beginning. I'm prepared for this 100 layers. But before we do that, let's actually see how these turn out on a canvas. Let's bring them out. Turn out, I am literally obsessed. My favorite is the rainbow. Black turned out like a dark galaxy. Sometimes what my mood is like when I'm hungry. This is hangry fluid art. This is like psychedelic, I guess. 
This is super retro. We're gonna let them dry, we can clean up the edges, and then we can give them to people. Because that's what you gotta do with art. Can you get my face? Time for cat's review paintings. I'm back with my three new pieces of art. I give this to Coco because he's super bright and happy. I give to Boomba because it's got lots of white in it. Dark galaxy one. I'm gonna give to Mia because it's dark like her soul. Coco, I bought you a present. You like it? What do you think? I'm a baby. I do not like art. Nope. He doesn't like it. I got this for Mia. Let's see if she likes it. Mia? This one's for you. Do you like my painting? My soul is dark. I like this painting a lot. Boomba. I got a present for you. What do you think of this? Boomba's got white like you. What do you think? I do not see fish. This is not good. My cats have a YouTube channel too. It's Munchkin TV. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. They do fun challenges. You're gonna love it. I'm obsessed. My cats <laughs> enjoying their presents. Based on the test that I have done, I have decided what I'm gonna do for my 100 colors. You don't really like the black that much or the white stripe. In terms of the complementary colors, wasn't feeling that actually. Probably my least favorite. You know what was the clear winner? The rainbow. So I was so excited to get this 100 color rainbow, but as you guys know, when I went shopping, I only found 35, 35. colors. So I picked the brand that was the cheapest. I decided to mix all the colors in between using different shades. We have one problem here guys. Can you guys tell the difference between this color and this color? I'm gonna have to mix a few colors in between these two. Let's hope they don't all look the same. I am committed to a hundred color rainbow. Trying to picture a hundred colors in my head is pretty... I, I can't even do it. So what I've used to guide me is use these shot glasses. I've got a hundred on the table so I can actually picture how many colors I need to make. We have seven running down here vertically. We have 14 across, which makes 98. And we've got two extra, which makes a hundred. So now that I have these on the table, I... I... I realize how many colors I need to make. What I'm going to do is place the colors that I have already strategically along these rows so I can figure out how many colors I need to mix in between the colors I already have. There are some colors I want to emphasize more than others because I think they look prettier. So I'm gonna place those colors further apart so I can mix more of the in-between colors. Let's start the mixing. All right guys, the first one is going down. I'm gonna put it in position number two. Hey, this one's right next door because it literally is so similar. I'm gonna pop this here. Let's hope I can make all the colors in between. Three colors between that and that. We're getting to a different shade right now, like indigo. I love indigo. It's getting dark in here. We're getting into the navy territory. Dad Joe, too soon. Bam, right at the end. You may have noticed you're seeing cling wrap on these colors. What happened when we did the trial run? Basically, the paint just dried on the top and we had to scrape it off. So since this is going to take quite a few hours, I wrapped them up and hopefully they're not going to dry up. Bam. Bam. Ooh. Whoa, that's a big gap between those two colors. 50. Bam. Next door. Fluoro yellow. This is our final color, like a turquoise aquamarine. Honestly, my brain is mush right now. I can't even think of color names anymore. Yes! Okay, wait, you know what? Before I celebrate, I literally have to mix all the colors in between. Seeing a lot of empty colors. Let's pop ourselves up, get me coffee. All right, I'm ready. Halfway through guys, you can see the light. Actually, not really, I'm just seeing red right now. How many different reds can there be? This is like my lipstick collection. Let's keep going. Puffy! Woo! On our final color, I am now a zombie. <laughs> Bam! We are done! A hundred color, we made it, and they're all cling wrapped. I'm gonna disappear under the table first. I'm gonna have a nap had a nap, it's time to unwrap. Ooh, that rhymes.
We're on to our last color. Cheers. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Whoa, this jug is very big. Just so you know, this is a water jug. This is the only jug we can find that was like this big. There's like a weird lump in it, so we're gonna work with it. Well, oh, this one bit thick. Need my cats to help. They're too busy filming their own videos on YouTube. I feel like the practice is really coming through. It's making a heart shape. I like how we did the dark to light. I'm trying to go faster because I realize if I do this this slowly, like the paint's gonna dry in the jug before I'm done. I realize I didn't mix some of the colors that well. I'm doing fluid art within the fluid art. <music> Guys, it is looking super amazing right now. It looks like a rock formation. It's reminding me of sunsets. I am so obsessed with sunsets right now, so I'm living. Oh my god! Look at this! This looks beautiful! I am so, so obsessed with this. Okay, I'm not gonna move it too much, but like, Literally guys, it is a work of art. I don't even want to pour it right now. Can we just like leave it here to dry? This is a vibe. Oh my gosh guys, I'm so nervous. We're setting it down flat. Slowly guys. All right guys, we got our giant canvas. Can you see me? I can see your feet. Now where's your head? Hi. <laughs> it's almost as tall as me. I'm fun size. A giant canvas. I'm just gonna lay it down. As you can see, I've laid down a top beforehand. All right, guys. We are finally here. Got my jug. Kind of heavy. Awkward size of canvas. Like, I'm trying to reach the other side. Arms are too little. I didn't think of this when I was buying the canvas. Wish me luck. We're gonna do this. We have multiple cameras. You can see this from all angles. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so nervous. Three, two, one. Four. Wow. Oh my god. I'm going to spiral. I decided. Do I even have enough paint for this? Wow. Running out of paint. Whee! Let's do an outline. <laughs> okay. We ran out of paint. All right, we're gonna white paint the edges. We don't have much white paint. Okay, we're just gonna do this corner. And you know what? I'm just hoping it's gonna spread out nicely. We're lifting the canvas. It's quite heavy. Oh. This was a long journey, but looking at this makes it worth it. And also, there's a lot of green. Hi. Right here, it looks like a real galaxy. 
So you can see there's like speckles of yellow here as well, like they're stars. Neon flame, just like flame through it all the way from that direction. This is literally amazing. It turned out beyond my imagination. I was so nervous getting into this. If you guys enjoyed this 100 color fluid art challenge and you want to see me upsize more things, check out the time I mix 10,000 crayons into one giant crayon. And leave me your other suggestions down below in the comments. All right guys, now I need a nap. Wait, actually, coffee.